power requirement in centrifugal pump so this is the most important concept where we will use the pump to operate so we have discussed the body the power requirement let us see the power defined as the rate at which work can be done output of the engine power can be represented in two units one is your hp horsepower these are the imperial uh, units and another is your si units we call that is your mks that is watts or kilowatt let us see power work by time so you know the work is the uh, force into distance uh, force units are newton distance units are meter time units are second suppose the newton into meter is called your joule okay and time in seconds joule per second is nothing but your watt please remember case one and another case if you are what this uh, pump will do it will discharge the water and for a certain height so now this power will represent in terms of water height and discharge let us see same equation force into distance by time same thing now we know the basic concept that is a force is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity can i write this mass into gravity so we know the density of the water is the mass by volume i need mass that is nothing but your density into volume so, okay now i am substituting this so instead of the mass the density into volume into gravity okay by time that is your seconds okay now say same thing ma by ms by g okay into distance is there now same thing if you write volume by second what is the discharge nothing but volume by time or second that is called discharge this is i am getting this discharge and see next one is your meters this is the meter so what is this meter distance that is the distant meaning of this if you see the pump impeller now this will pump the water uh, and this is your deliver head so total head this is the total head of this impeller this is your suction side and this is your delivery side okay this is center of the impeller so the total distance water can move from the water source to target height so this is called your distance that is called your head okay now we know that density into gravity is called your specific weight so now can i write this power in terms of your discharge and head that is so that is called your uh, work done on your or uh, power on your water so in this aspects we can represent this uh, power in the water half power okay so what is the power required to pump this water that means the critical power required for pumping what is pumping it pumping the water where from the lower uh, elevation to higher elevation and distance so that is the output uh, by pump in a lifting the water certain distance that is called your water half power okay so nothing but what is the power applying on the water so it lift to certain height so that is your this is si units here if you see this unit that is comes under watt same so now as i told you the power represented in the imperial units also the horsepower is imperial units so in terms of your hp or horsepower discharge into uh, total head by 75 so here the discharge in liter per second head is in meters so this 75 is the conversion unit and these are the other forms of uh, your uh, water horsepower simply conversion this is a liter per second this is a liter per minute and this is a liter per hour if you multiply 75 into 60 you will get the 4500 and same thing uh, instead of the liter per second you substitute the uh, 3.6 you will get this 275 this is called your water hearts power now dear friend please concentrate on this diagram so then now let us see the electric energy electric energy coming to this motor okay this is called your electric in and this electric in rotate the motor this is see this is the motor this is rotated and this attached to the shaft so now power in this due to the motor power is going okay this is the shaft again this shaft is rotating and this uh, another shaft attached here see one more attached shaft and this shaft again connected to the impeller so now this is called your water horsepower wait total energy output energy it available at your so now between next one is your this is shaft so this is called your pump okay now pump is load the water so this is impeller now this impeller and this pump will rotate so what is the power at this shaft that's called your shaft horsepower so that shaft horsepower can be defined as the power required at the pump shaft okay this is the pump shaft so what is the power at this pump shaft this is the pump shaft so that is the ratio of your water horsepower by pump efficiency because the pump efficiency is nothing but your energy output by energy input so what is the energy output so from this 
impeller what is the uh, energy out that is water horsepower from the pump what is going this pump is uh, energy transmitting to your water horsepower or impeller so that is water impeller so that is your output and what is the input here input for this that is your shaft horsepower nothing but that is shaft horsepower very simple very close simple concept now next to one next to this shaft is another your engine this shaft is rotated by the engine what is the energy at this engine that's called your brake horsepower okay so now the brake horsepower is what is the energy due to driving efficiency okay this energy also rotating energy uh, getting to this engine from the electric motor or maybe driving extent driving mechanism okay to rotate this engine how you rotate this engine or where power is coming to this engine that is due to the driving mechanism so that is driving efficiency and your output is your shaft horsepower that is written here see the brake horsepower is the actual horsepower to be supplied by the engine or electric motor for the driving the pump brake horsepower is written as shaft horsepower by drive efficiency so you know what is drive efficiency drive efficiency nothing but your shaft horsepower by brake horsepower so this is the where you have drive mechanism where you have drive mechanism such as your belt or any other uh, cases okay drive mechanism or belt is there shaft is there any other additional method to drive this engine so where nowadays all centrifugal pumps are directly connected if you see this image there is no external uh, driving mechanism attached to this shaft so that motor will rotate so only the driving uh, mechanism electric uh, electric motor is connected so the directly connected to the engine and shaft and impeller so there is no additional driving mechanisms are nowadays centrifugal so if you eliminate this and driving mechanism so that in this condition we will write this equation okay if you are neglecting this uh, driving mechanism so what is the left parameter here that is your water horsepower by pump efficiency okay now that is called your shaft horsepower by pump efficiency okay so now because here driving efficiency 100% are we are neglecting so this is equation shaft horse by pump efficiency is equals to the similar to the your shaft horse power see shaft horse power water horse power by pump efficiency same thing it will become like this so in this condition in this condition this pumps are called your direct or mono block pump for the direct or mono block pump the brake horse power equal to your shaft horse power so because the driving efficiency or external driving mechanism is neglected or there is no this is called your direct or mono block pumps now so if you see this diagram again this engine is rotated by electric motor okay and this electric power is coming from your electric current so that is so what is that called ihp okay what is the power giving to this engine what is the power that is called input horsepower developed by the electric motor so that is electric motor okay that is the ratio of your brake horsepower by motor efficiency what is the energy generating from your motor to the brake horsepower to rotate this brake horsepower that is your output by input so this also written as your water horsepower by pump efficiency a drive efficiency and motor efficiency in case of you have drive mechanism suppose if you don't have any drive mechanism in this condition you can write as water horsepower by pump efficiency into motor efficiency because the drive efficiency there is no a drive mechanism suppose in direct connection or mono block pump so that is your water horsepower by pump efficiency motor efficiency we know that the power is measured in this empiric unit that is brake horsepower or metric unit si that is watt so electric motor will uh, power is coming to this electric motor in the units watts or kilowatts so okay so that's we need to convert this horsepower to watt so this is the uh, 1 hp is 746 watt so are uh, nothing but your 0.746 kilowatt now we should multiply this value to your ihp so that is your brake horsepower by motor efficiency into 0.746 are nothing but your water horsepower by uh, pump efficiency motor efficiency to 0.746 in case of direct or mono block otherwise water horsepower by pump efficiency drive efficiency into motor efficiency into 0.746 for the uh, belt or and other drive mechanisms that is the most important okay otherwise they will ask what is the 1 hp is in watts that is 746 watt okay otherwise 0.746 kilowatt otherwise they will ask 1 uh, watt how much hp that is 1 by 746 hp 
So now next one is your total energy. How you find the cost so to operate this motor? Otherwise, you consume something. How much you need? So that is we can estimate the total operating cost of this electric motor in the month. That is your nothing but brake horse power. That is your now brake horse power. That is your motor efficiency uh, into 746. That is your into operating cost of the pump and number of days you operated this pump and each unit cost of your electric motor. So that is. So now this is the example they asked in the exam in the ICR SRF uh, recent year. They have given pump efficiency, motor efficiency and drive efficiency and asked to find the oral efficiency. Oral efficiency of the pump is nothing but 0.75 into 0.80 into 0.90. That is comes your oral efficiency that is 54% and they also given the water horse power. Okay, water horse power. What is the water horse power formula? The water horse power is given and they asked to find the IHP. So this is the formula for IHP. That is your brake horse power by motor efficiency. This is the question they asked. So next last one is your selection criteria of your centrifugal pump. How you select this centrifugal pump? So that is the based on three criteria are there. Your crop water requirement and discharge capacity of the pump. And next one is safe yield of your water available condition. That is your how much water available in the well, canal, tube well or stream pond, anything. And next one is your cost of the pump and the kind of energy. So how which energy you are supplying to this motor to operate the pump, electric energy, diesel or petrol or any other solar energy circuit. Okay, we will calculate the how much area of this field. Okay, and how much depth of water we should supply to this field. Okay, entire field. So that is our area into depth will give the volume and to this uh, area how many days are irrigation period that is called your rotational period for after how many days you need to irrigate otherwise if you need to monday again next to monday otherwise if you give after 10 days of 20 days or 15 days or nightly fourth nightly or weekly like that so that is called your rotational period here rotational period the irrigation interval uh, for the uh, crop and how many suppose you are giving on a one first week that is your monday and on Monday, how many hours you should operate? Suppose 8 hours, you should operate 2 hours or 4 hours or 12 hours like that. That is your called T. That is your T, the duration of pumping. How much? So that is simply area into depth or nothing but your Y uh, into rotation time into T operating time. So this is our in SI units. Uh, these are in your uh, liter per second, hectare per uh, hour per day and area in hectares you should take. So this is the 27.78 is the conversion unit. Okay, conversion. These are the simply in all SI units, meter feet per second, uh, days, uh, second per day, meter square, meter and rotation period in days. So this is the simple concept, selection criteria of your centrifugal pump.